hot mud or bucket mud, which do I use and which will hold my tape? If you've ever walked into your local building supply and looked at joint compounds, it can get pretty confusing to a first time buyer. There's compound in bags, there's compound in buckets, there's all purpose mud, there's mud made for finishing, which is generally lightweight, and then there's ultra lightweight. There's just so many different types of compounds, so where do you start? After all, they all say the same thing, versatile, for all drywall joint finishing steps. So can't you use all different types of mud for all steps? Well, as an engineer, I like to test just about everything I do. And this is no different. When I'm going to be taping drywall, I don't want the tape to fail. We've all seen cracked drywall tape where joints are exposed and tape's falling off. Obviously, the only way to really find out is to test it. Here was my initial idea for testing the strength of drywall compounds to hold tape to the drywall. As you can see, I am using weight based on how much water the pitcher will hold before the tape fails. What I found is that they all fail at about the same point. So is it a useless test? I don't think so. What it's telling us is that the paper fails before the compound fails. Let's get a little bit closer. And as we zoom in, you can see that the way the paper fails is that it delaminates. You can see fuzzy sections, and then you can see areas where the paper came off clean. This means the paper did not delaminate, but actually came loose from the compound in the drywall. Preventing this type of failure is the purpose of this video. As you can see, this failure was on Easy Sand 90, which is a setting type compound. Next, let's look at Green Top All Purpose by Sheetrock. As you can see, it does a pretty good job of holding, but there's still in that bottom right a section where the paper actually came off clean. Now keep in mind, this paper was pulled off. In all actuality, nobody's going to be pulling paper off the walls. But this is all else held equal in a test of several different types of compounds. So let's look at the next one. Sheetrock Light Green Ultra Light. This one actually surprised me. As you look at this, there are a few sections where a little bit of the paper came off clean, but for the most part, I'm seeing fuzzy paper that actually failed at the paper stage and not at the compound stage. Last is the one that seemed to do the best, which is Brown Bag Durabond by USG. As you look up and down this seam, you see only fuzzy paper where the paper is delaminated. You see nothing at all in the way of a compound failure where you see it clean paper pulled off and only compound showing through. This is the only USG compound that had perfect results in this test. So all these different compounds, quick set, light, compounds that are in buckets and boxes, does it really make a difference? Well, let's take a really close look. This time we're gonna look at Proform by National Gypsum. Surprisingly, all purpose mud, which is usually used for taping, take a look at that. So much of it came off clean. This is by far the worst results I had with any compound. This is black all-purpose by Proform. Usually you'd expect to do well with an all-purpose compound, but in this case, you can see the results are otherwise. Next, we look at light, which is, I guess, blue lid by Proform. I was surprised the results are actually better than the black. They're still not great. Nowhere near as good as what we saw with the USG compounds that we did earlier. A lot of that tape is off pretty clean, as you can see in this replay. Look at it real close and you can see plenty of shiny spots with very little fuzzy paper. By contrast, take a look at Quickset Brown Bag. This stuff does better than anything else that I found in the Proform line. As you can see, everything is very good as far as adhesion goes. I'm seeing only delaminated paper with nothing where the paper has come completely off. That's good adhesion. Once again, that's Quickset, not light, but the Brown Bag Quickset. This is a good product, and in my opinion, it's even better than Durabond. It's harder, <clears throat> and it sticks better, and it flows smoother off the trowel. And for those who actually finish with this stuff, there are people that will go over the material as it just starts to set and um, get a really smooth finish that way without sanding. It's kind of a rare technique, but some people can do it. Unfortunately, that's a very hard product to find. I called National Gypsum and they said that this product has not been made in six months. I was lucky enough to find it being sold at a Buckeyes in Missouri. There are, they actually had a pallet of it. 
and it was about the same price as Durabond. Now a more readily available product, Quickset Lite, as opposed to the brown bag Quickset. This is probably more comparable to Easy Sand. However, I find if I actually use it to build coat, like after the tape layer, it smooths out a whole lot better off the trowel than Easy Sand does. And it sands just as easily. And as you can see in the test that's about to come, it sticks the tape just as well as Quickset. Take a look at that as you look down this <clears throat> this tape seam, you pretty much see only fuzz. There's nothing where the tape has actually come off clean. Very good adhesion. Very, very good adhesion and an impressive product. Probably one of the best available at big box stores. So there you have it. So is there one compound that works better than another for taping? Well, let's take a look again at the results. Quick set and quick set light. Almost perfect adhesion. You see no clean spots. Only paper that is delaminated, whereas the layers actually came apart. Easy Sand 90 for having to mix hot mud and deal with the inconveniences that it gives. I wasn't all that impressed. Take a look and you'll see that there's a big area that came off clean at the top. I won't intentionally tape with this material again. Sheetrock Green Top All Purpose. It's a really popular mud to tape with. As you can see it did pretty well, but as you get to the bottom of that seam, you can see that there's a spot where it came off pretty clean as well. Not impressed. Sheetrock Light Green Top Ultra Lightweight. This kind of surprised me that it actually did better than the green top mud did. As you look through this seam, you see there's some spots that came off clean, but not bad really. Really well for being a lightweight mud. I was pretty impressed. Some people say you should only finish with an ultra lightweight mud, but this actually looks pretty good. So what joint compound should I use the tape with and why? Well, I think they'll all work. Obviously, they stick the tape to the drywall, but as you can see, there are differences in how well they stick the tape to the drywall. I think, based on what I can see, Durabond, or one of the quick sets, has the best adhesion. The ultra lightweight surprisingly did pretty well, too. If I had to use a bucket compound that I could get from Lowe's, Home Depot, or Menards, I'd probably use the ultra lightweight. But since I have the option of using quick set, quick set light, or Durabond, Durabond's going to be the easiest to find as well as Quickset Light, and that's what I'll plan to use on taping in the future after doing this test. Hopefully this helps you make your decision when it comes to taping. I'd like to hear what you think. Thanks for watching.